that question is so generalized. Um, unearth the stories that want to be told. Um, I think all of that unearthing goes on inside of you. It's not as if out there in the world there are stories actually buried in, in society, buried in, in the ground of life uh, that um, in some animated way want to, um, want to come up out of their graves and tell themselves. Uh, the, the stories that want to be told are in you. You are responding to your life and to the, your own inner life and if you have talent um, there are certain stories that might be inspired by something you see on the street, uh, a dream you have one night, it's very common, um, a, something you read in a, in a newspaper, uh, something sparks the, um, the, the genius and the talent of the writer, uh, characters begin to materialize and story gets to be told and, and it, there's in that sense uh, that it comes from within you. There, um, there's an old um, expression in writing that, that I believe in that in a very real way uh, the stories are already written in you. Your problem as a writer is to get out of their way. Um, this, there, there are people who will argue about the degree to which things are conscious and unconscious, but I think it's, um, it's useful uh, to imagine that your unconscious mind, if you are talented of course, the unconscious mind of a talented person uh, has already created stories that are living inside of the writer. The writer then these has to be inspired, these stories then find their way out of the writer and into the writer's uh, work and that in a very real way stories want to be told uh, but they, um, the stories are already in the, 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 the mind of a talented writer uh, and, um, and the writer's job then is to, to somehow let these stories come to life.